Hello and welcome. Today we will set out to find the appropriate firefighter on board our vessel. Too short and the person might not be able to fit in on board a firefighter's outfit. This outfit size may become another added burden for the firefighter himself. Too big and the person might just not be able to fit in the tight spaces that may need to fight the fight in. It's all about finding the right person for the right job. Selecting the appropriate firefighters is as important as fighting the fire itself or rescuing a person from any space. It's a good idea to start from selecting the persons that will fit in your vessel's firefighter's outfit first. This way you'd be sure that the outfit itself will not be an added weight on a firefighter's mind when he is involved in fighting the fire or rescue. Selecting the person with appropriate build is very important. Out of this crew, we will prefer the people who have a prior experience as the experience goes a long way. Now we will have two groups of the people, first experienced with ideal body size and second inexperienced with ideal body size. At this point, it will be appropriate to segregate them according to their department. This is to ensure that the firefighter's familiarity with the potential spaces where the firefighting or rescue may be conducted. At this point, it's a good idea to consult the chief officer and the chief or second engineer to discuss the communication skills of the selected people. The emphasis should be on the brief and to-the-point communications in English. Remember, a problem well described is a problem half solved. Our firefighters need to communicate using the appropriate and to-the-point words and phrases. Brief but on-point two-way communication is the key. And of course, this communication skill of theirs will be evaluated during the drills. It is also vital that the firefighters are willing to keep a face without a beard. While there are ways to use SCBA with a beard, but that would be an added work and preparation. The SCBA face mask will sit flush on the face of a person with no beard, maintaining air tightness and hence no leakage of breathable air or no inhalation of smoke or fumes if the things go south. A firefighter should always be familiar with this equipment, especially namely the SCBA, that is self-contained breathing apparatus. Proper use of his hatchet, proper use of his walkie-talkie, understanding the IMO symbols and their meanings, ability to recognize and use the primary and secondary means of escape, familiarity with the fire theory, ability to use all the available fire extinguishing mediums including the portable and non-portable fire extinguishers, proper use of jet, spray and stream functions of a fire nozzle. Every firefighter has a lifeline and the firefighter needs to know what are the signals when he's using this firefighter's line with the lifeline. In short, there's quite a lot of knowledge that a firefighter has to have. But obviously, it all starts with wearing the fireman's outfit first. And we have a rich training session schedule that covers all of these topics specific to our vessel. Out of the two groups that we made earlier, we will choose two each based on these assessments. But all of the familiarity-based evaluations cannot be done all at once in a single day. To start with, we will ask all the selected guys to don the fireman's outfit and evaluate them one by one on the basis of how correctly, quickly and efficiently they done the firefighter's outfit. The time starts now. This is our firefighter to get ready first. How do you think you did? All good? Can you breathe normally? Two minutes and 40 seconds approximately, okay. But next time we have to check the BA bottle pressure, the face mask, the pressure test, those things need to be done also, okay. Okay, so you can go ahead and remove. Right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to evaluate how these guys performed. Uh, they all seem to have done a respectable job, but one thing we have noticed is none of them performed the BA test and checks. No one checked the bottle pressure, no one checked the BA set face mask, no one checked the ceiling against the face, all those tests and checks they are missing. This guy is just getting ready and I think it's he has taken a little bit more time than expected. By the way, we can give him the benefit of the doubt, he is the junior most member of our team, very new to the vessel but still a good job. Yeah. I believe next time he will be performing much better, I right? Yes. No problem, next time. Okay, you can go ahead and remove that now. So these were our first four firefighters that we have uh, tried right now. One guy came up really well, but I think the other three are lacking quite a bit. This guy is a brilliant example of how a fireman's outfit might not be suiting everyone. See, the mask is not sitting on his face. His face is too small for the mask. Okay, I think you can take it off now because you are anyway not going to be able to wear it. A very, very interesting case. Oh, done. Very good. Chief, how much time did he clock? Three minutes? 
Three and a half. Okay. Next time we'll try to wear it under three. But did he perform all the testing checks? All of them, huh? Very good. Yeah, your anti-flash hood was on your face. If if the anti-flash hood is on the face, uh, there is no full, you know, tightness of the mask. So we have already included you in our papers. Now you did everything properly. Excellent job. No problem. If he's a touch slower, then we can keep him in the back of firefighters out team. No. Excellent, Ray. Good job. Okay, you can go ahead and remove. By selecting the appropriate firefighters, we have very good responders in case of a fire or rescue emergency. And that peace of mind that you're going to have after selecting these firefighters, priceless. And not to mention that when you have efficient firefighters, it's one emergency that can be covered with efficient safeguards in the form of these firefighters. Excellent, way. Awesome. Well done. Pe, can you remove your hatchet? I wanted to check if you can remove with your glove. At this position, I think the gloves are too big for his hands. No, wait, wait, easy, easy, Papi, relax. This is another interesting case where the gloves are too big for the firefighters' hands. Based on this small exercise of turning the firefighters' outfit, we have selected these four gentlemen to be our firefighters. But the story doesn't end here. Their real evaluation will be done during the drills, and I intend to keep replacing one firefighter from each team at intervals for two reasons. Number one, by training more people, we will have the second phase firefighting capability. Number two, we may find some firefighter who may perform better than our selected ones. While it may seem a little bothersome and tedious process, trust me, it isn't that hard. All of this doesn't need to be done in one day. We can do this as the time permits and as the opportunity presents itself during the drills. By selecting the appropriate firefighters, we have the efficient responders in case of fire or rescue emergency. And that peace of mind that you'll have after this selection will be priceless. And not to mention, it's one kind of emergency that can be considered covered with the efficient safeguards in place in the form of efficient firefighters. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. Behave safe, act safe and be safe.